On today's show, Jason Mitchell joins Perch Patrol's Nick Fouch as they head out first ice on one of the many newly formed lakes around Devil's Lake, North Dakota, in search of jumbo perch. Later on, Jason will meet up with Shields Fishing Shop manager Joe Finneman as they chase bass in the Glacial Lakes country of Northeast South Dakota. That's the name of the game is just drilling lots of holes. You can imagine there's fish run up and down these contours off the shoreline where that soft basin, which is just a dish bowl. I mean, right across here in this basin is flat as a pancake. So wherever that basin comes up on a shoreline, that transition, these fish just run up and down these transitions. They could be anywhere along here. The name of the game is drilling holes and finding them. There we go, a little better fish. Another nice eater fish. Yeah, a lot of these little lakes around Devil's Lake, the game and fish have stocked with perch and walleyes and pike seem to be in almost every one of them. So it's a real good opportunity for early ice. I mean, right now there's not a lot of places you can get out on five, six inches of ice and these little lakes around the area have, have safe fishable ice right now. It's really, really nice. Look at that. That is cool. When they stock fish in these new lakes, they just, they typically just explode. So you see phenomenal growth rates and a lot of times great re reproduction. There's even walleye spawning in some of these little lakes, especially, you know, some of these lakes that just have perch in them where the pike haven't got in. If the pike get in first, usually it'll suppress the perch and walleye numbers down. But if they can stock some of these big sloughs with walleyes or perch before the pike get in, a lot of times those will be, you know, some, create, create some phenomenal ice fishing opportunities for walleyes and perch. But how do you find these lakes? Well, you go to the coffee shop and hear rumors and gossip and chase these spots down yourself. But a great way, a great resource is to go on the North Dakota Game and Fish website. You can get stocking reports and stocking data for every county. And so you can just go county by county and just, you know, you get a description of where the lake is located and uh, stocking reports. and that cuts down a lot of the research. So that's a great resource to use to help you catch a lot more fish this winter. Well, right now I've got one chase and I am five feet up on the zoom and he finally bit it. A lot of times you can fish as far as them fish will chase you up. And very seldom am I fishing below two feet off the bottom you gotta leave some room for those perch to stack up down there and get, you know, one, two, three, four of them, as many as you can underneath your jig. It's like decoys. When you get these fish three, four feet off the bottom, a lot of the fish that are 30, 40 feet away can see those fish coming up higher now. And they wanna come over there and see what's going on. It's pretty important when you got fish down there and fish biting you, kind of like a little flurry, a feeding frenzy, when you're dropping your jig down, you don't want to drop it all the way through that school of fish. You want to stop it above them, a foot, two feet above them, and not go all the way down through. Sometimes you go all the way down through, you'll catch one of those fish on the bottom and pull him all the way through all the other ones and disperse them all over the place. And then you got to start over with your feeding frenzy. You know, sometimes you can get lucky and drop a transducer down to see fish on the screen before you even put a lure down. But a lot of times with perch, what I find is usually have to put a lure down to see if anybody's home. So drop to a new hole, and just do this jigging routine all over to see if there's anything around, try to pull them in. You know, you bring it up high and think about fishing four, five, six feet off the bottom is that fish from much further away can see you. And so if you're only fishing six inches off the bottom, your fish 20 feet away aren't gonna see you. But when you bring it up high, let that sun hit that spoon, you can call fish in from a long ways in these clear water lakes. Here we go, good fish, good fish. Just like that. I love it. When they start wandering way out to the side of the hole when they're fighting and they're pulling drag as they're doing it, that is a perch with shoulders on it. Oh yeah, look at this here. Great fish. That there is a jumbo. You know, this fish just came in out of nowhere. I was 
lifting it up and that fish just raced in. But yeah, a lot of times the first drop is when we're gonna catch some of the bigger fish. And so it pays you just keep bouncing around and just keep hitting holes. But beautiful fish, put that fish back in the water. Come on. Oh yeah. Hey. There he is. That fish came screaming. See here, one little tip here. See how this bottom right here is fluttering? There's a fish on the edge of the cone angle and this fish is being really reluctant. And I'm, I'm assuming it's a very small fish. What I'm gonna do is lift up. And what I'm trying to do is use that, those small fish to bring in a bigger fish. And so when you see little fish and there's big fish mixed right in them, bring those little fish in and fish above the little fish to get those little fish to come up off the bottom. The best way to lure in perch is not so much with the lure, but bring in lots of perch. And so the more perch you get below you, I got them racing up now. It's just a matter of getting them started. Good fish. Whoa, look at that. A perch that digs and pulls out drag. But get that, get that school to come up, and usually the bigger fish are going to come up to the top. Look at that. Don't you just love that? That rod is just digging. People don't think of panfish, especially perch like this, as fighters, but you get big enough fish and they're a handful. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. That is a jumbo anywhere in North America right there. That is a monster perch right there. There. Wow. Wow, look at that. Just a, look at the pot belly on that fish. That is, a, <laughs> that is a trophy perch right there. We'll let this fish go. These fish are great to have in a lake. There, and it's just a matter of getting back down. One thing I always like to do if I can is change the shape of that school in the sense that you get these small fish crawling along the bottom, get those fish lifted up off the bottom so they're silhouetted so that other fish can see them. And then you get that fish school shape to change where it's vertical where they start to stack on top of each other. When you can get that and create a little bit of a frenzy, the big fish are usually gonna come up to the top of the school and beat those smaller fish to the punch because they, they're not as hesitant to come up off the bottom and be exposed. And so you saw that happen right there that worked perfectly, but that's a great way to catch some of these biggest fish when you've got all kinds of perch below you. Oh, love that. Now, and this is fun fishing too. A lot of people come for miles to get on a perch by it, just rifle through one after another. That's as good as it gets. And it's amazing how word can spread on a hot bite. There. Come on up here. Oh yeah, look at there. North Dakota gold right there. And so there's all these dish bowl lakes that are predominantly shallow and they're scattered across the Dakotas. And so basically when these glaciers pushed through here over 10,000 years ago, wherever there's an ice chunk that melted, it formed a shallow lake. And so wet cycle years, high water, these, these depressions fill up with water and they produce fishing just like this. But these these opportunities are numerous. There's there's literally hundreds of lakes through North and South Dakota, even down in Nebraska and parts of Iowa, 
that can produce fishing in North Dakota particular, there's a lot of places where you can catch experience fishing just like this. You know, and I hate to say it, but these opportunities might not last forever. I can think of a handful of lakes to where there's only seven, eight, nine feet of water, and some of these sloughs have actually dropped in the last couple of years where we're starting to get dry. And so some of these sloughs have dropped a foot, two feet, three feet in some cases, and so we might get winter kill. And so these opportunities might not last forever, but make sure you get out there and enjoy it. Get off the beaten path, fish some of these smaller, lesser known bodies of water. They're scattered throughout the Dakotas. If you look across the drift prairie, the prairie pothole regions of both North and South Dakota, you're gonna find a lot of sloughs like this looking to stock reports and find some of these bodies of water that are off the beaten path and you're gonna be rewarded with some phenomenal ice fishing this winter. Jason Mitchell Outdoors has been brought to you by Shields, Crestliner Boats, North Dakota Tourism, Salmo Performance Fishing Lures, Cooper Chevrolet, Jason Mitchell Elite Series Fishing Rods, Uncle Josh, Kalins, Onyx. To find out more information on Jason Mitchell Outdoors, Make their official web page one of your favorite pages. Find out upcoming show schedules and airtimes, along with past shows, article and product reviews at jasonmitchelloutdoors.com. Great information on the outdoors is just one click away.